Alright guys, this is going to be another empties video. This is Friday that I'm posting this. I usually record these on, sorry for the noise right now, on Wednesdays. Um, but um, I've been really going through it this week. Um, also, if you guys haven't noticed, all I do is really post hauls and empties right now. I'm not hauling a ton because I'm going through this Project Use It Up um, kind of challenge that I've done for myself so I'm not hauling a ton right now at least and um, I don't feel like I have much to say I need to record some more real talk videos you guys quite enjoyed those which made me feel really nice that you guys actually wanted to know about me thank you so much I will be doing that I just honestly I know a lot of you can relate you, sometimes you just don't feel like yourself and that's kind of how I've been feeling um, so I'll be back and better than ever soon um, in case you were wondering. So let's get started on my empties. So the first thing is don't mind the swatch. There'll be a reason for that after. Um, the Olmay Oil-Free Gentle Eye Makeup Remover Pads. I actually love these. A lot of people hate them. They don't irritate my eyes. They do wear contact lenses and they're really moisturizing. Um, not drying in any sense um, and I quite like these. I got these on sale. This is the second one that I finished for about 75 cents a piece um, from Ulta and if I see the deal again it was buy one get one half off. I will definitely buy them um, because I like using this when I'm using my heavy duty Urban Decay eye makeup. Um, nothing else really seems to be able to get rid of that perversion and the 24-7 pencil quite like these so and not be harsh so I love these. Next is the Clean and Clear Morning Glow Moisturizer. As you can see, I got this for $3 at Big Lots. And honestly, this is about halfway full. I used this for a while. I'm going to be passing this on to my mother. Um, it's... I just don't like the consistency at all. Um, let me see if I could take this off because I'm one-handed right now. Um, I really like my Jergens. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a lotion consistency. But the problem is, is once you put it on your face... What I like about the Jergens is that it feels moisturized and soft and kind of you feel like that lotion-y feeling on your face for a while. This to me just instantly seeps in and I guess it isn't as moisturizing. So this is going to be passed on to my mother. Um, I finished the Renew and Refresh um, Bath and Body Works candle. This is actually um, not as much of a throw as other scents that I've used, especially ones I've reviewed for you guys recently. Um, so I won't repurchase this again. I do like the fresh scents, but this one just didn't do it for me. Um, I used this Avon Christmas Cookie Bubble Bath. It did bubble, um, not a crazy amount, but the scent, there was absolutely no scent when I used it, but I used it up for a bath the other day. Um, this I'm getting rid of, as you can see, actually there's only about like maybe that much left. It's Vanilla Berry Sorbet Pocket Back, and honestly, this gives me a headache every time I use it. It's so strong, and I guess the vanilla or whatever's in it gives me an instant like sinus headache, so this has to go. I think I have another one of those. If I do, it'll be in another empties, and I'll be passing it on as a part of a purge. Um, this is the Earth Therapeutics Foot Balm. Um, it's kind of stuck on the sides. And um, I really didn't like this that much. It's supposed to have all these mango butters and all this stuff in it, but I don't think it was crazy maximum moisture like it says. It was all right. Um, I think I might be able to use it once more, so I'm going to put it aside, use it once more, and then I'll toss it. This I'm getting rid of, or I might pass it on to my mom. Uh, I don't know. As you can see, I got a good deal on it. I actually paid less than that because I had a $5 off coupon. But there's, it just doesn't really do anything, and the smell is really off for me. Um, so I tried it. Not a fan. I still like it's a 10, but it's so expensive. This is another one of the skincare samples that I got in the Perfect Cleanse box, which is funny. That's what it's called. The Nude Perfect Cleanse, and it's a nourishing cleansing oil. This stuff is so nice. Um, it leaves your skin feeling like silk. I need to get my hands on this. I know it's crazy expensive, um, but I'm going to put this aside to remind myself to look this up. But if you get a chance or if you haven't already, treat yourself to that perfect cleanse Sephora favorite box. It's $48 from Sephora. You get 12 products. One is like a sponge, but it's really nice. You just have to be careful on using it. And then you get um, 11 different minis like this like purity made simple and other stuff and it's so worth it to treat yourself I'm telling you guys I've really enjoyed using it um, and then I finished up my Bath and Body Works stress relief you guys know I love the stress relief this is the first time I used the sugar scrub it was amazing it has all the salts in it and then it had like that much mineral oil 
in there. So like some days that I didn't want to do the mineral oil, I would just scoop out a little bit of the oil onto my fingers and like I would put it on my elbows or places that I felt needed moisture. This stuff was so worth it. I got this when it was $8 on sale. These are usually $16 and then I used the 20% off. I advise you next time they have these on sale for $8 or you have a um signature collection $8 coupon or whatever, try this. It lasts a very long time. A little bit goes a long way. I swear I'm not sponsored by the, by Stress Relief or Bath & Body Works. I talk about them all the time. Um, this stuff's amazing. Okay, so a new holy grail. A new holy grail is the St. Ives Even and Bright. You guys know I love the scrub. And um, this stuff is so nice. It's very light. Um, isn't harsh in any way, but it, I feel like it cleans my body and it leaves it soft. I love this stuff. Um, I think I paid what three dollars for this or three fifty. I don't know, but this huge container lasted me a very long time. Oh, it's amazing. All right, so what's on my hand? This is a Dollar Tree product, and um, this is the Master Smoky Eye Studio Maybelline. I'm getting rid of it. So as you can see, that's the swatch of the product. Looks very nice, right? You use the smudger, that's what happens. You try to blend it out, that's what happens. Looks like you got a black eye. Um, really disappointed. I tried to just use it on its own. You leave it on for about an hour and it fades to that. I don't know how. I don't have oily eyelids. I use it, I've used it with and without a primer. So if you've seen these, um, if you've gotten them to work at Dollar Tree, um, I, you got, you must be a miracle worker or if you see these, I wouldn't advise picking them up if you haven't already. All right. So these are two Dollar Tree products as well. This is the Sammy fun fiber shampoo and conditioner it smells like straight up candy. I don't know why this isn't focusing. Oh, sorry. I don't know why it's not focusing. Um, this stuff is amazing. It did an amazing job at washing my hair. If you see these, grab them. Really, really nice product. And um, they are smaller sizes. I use this about seven times, and I have that long, thick hair. And a normal person, you probably could use it 10, 12. Um, so I went through it relatively quickly because last week I washed my hair about four or five times, which I usually do three. Um... But this was such such a good product to use. And people were asking me, what is that smell? And was smelling my hair. So, yeah. Um, this is something I bought at Burlington. And I'm actually, like, getting rid of this. Um, I've used a ton of it. Like, I think there's only that much left. Um, and it doesn't hold my hair. And what you do, which is really cool, is you turn the thing to light, medium, and hard how fast you want it to spray. But it didn't matter how hard it sprayed. It just doesn't hold. Um, so I did get that for 98 cents at Burlington. I guess it was originally 10. I think it's originally $15 hairspray or 20. Um, Michael O'Roy, but the other Michael O'Roy, the pink, um, bottle that they always sell at Sally's and Ulta with the like gems. That one's my Holy Grail that I used before this. Um, so it's not the formula. It's just this one in particular. This is another Dollar Tree product. It is the kids foaming bath uh, green apple. It didn't really smell like green apple. It was very foaming though. So if you like bubbles, um, I got several baths out of this. It is quite watery, but it is from the Dollar Tree. So you're only paying a dollar. Now time for like sample-y stuff. Um, I have some more. Sorry, there's spilled oil. It's actually from these iPads. Um, I have the vitamin C and the revitalizing iPads. The revitalizing is very drying for me. I will not purchase those anymore. And the vitamin C ones are very hydrating. So I don't know what it is about those vitalizing, revitalizing ones, but I can't use them anymore. Then I have two of the Biore um, charcoal pore strips. I've been getting them in all the magazines I get. I actually just got another one to use. Yeah, now everything's nasty with that oil. These were amazing. I do not like the original Biore strips, but these do a great job, the charcoal ones, um, and really was pulling everything out of my pores. This is um, from Amazon. These are amazing. If you haven't tried these EBA Nature um, sheet masks, it's this is the aloe one, but they come in a set of 10 or 12 for $10. I think it's free shipping. Um, 
and they're really good. All of them are really, really nice, and they fit the face really nice. And then this is something someone had sent me, the Epiel Facial Essence, you know, the Big Lots Green Tea, which was really nice to use. I probably will use a face mask, uh, one of those today. I've been doing a lot with my skin um, because I've been stressing, and um, that time of the month's coming, uh, Sunday or Monday, and I've got a few pimples out of nowhere on my face, and I've been treating my skin better this week than ever, so I know it's hormonal. Um, I also use this twice or three times. This is my all-time holy grail Monte Genie's Mud Mask Aromatherapy with Sea Kelp. I love the smell, the aromatherapy. It does a great job. Um, I, I just absolutely love this stuff. I actually got two more of these and two more of another one from Five Below right now. My Five Below is moving, so I got them for $0.75 cents each. I could have bought all of them. But I just was nice, you know, smart, and I only bought four more masks because if you guys saw my mask collection, I've been working through them for the last few months. You guys have seen tons, but I've also brought in quite a few. And then this was something else in a magazine, the Renewed Hope in a Jar. I did not like this. It's supposed to be, it says whipped and a new lightweight texture. Well, I didn't like it because it was so light. I felt like it didn't really do much. It didn't hydrate me the way that I like to be so this I definitely would not purchase and then the last thing are just these big lots baby wipes um which I use these once again for fallout to kind of clean up my makeup around the edges to clean off face masks uh swatches stuff like that and um this honestly I did not like these they did not do as much for me like the equate baby wipes do that I'm using now um, that are a lot more hydrating. So, um, won't purchase these again. It was only a dollar. I got 80. That's why I bought it. Um, I am a, a, a wet wipe, uh, extraordinaire. I'll tell you guys, I know the best ones and ones not to use. Do not use the Dollar Tree ones. So I will talk to you guys later, a 12 minute empties video. That's crazy. Um, I believe I'm at 237 empties. Don't quote me. I think that's, what this is 237 I still have today and tomorrow to um, count towards February's so next week's empty I will give you a update on how many empties I used in the month of February hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I'll talk to you soon stay blessed love you all bye